Okay, we're back here live in Las Vegas for Amazon Web Services reInvent Conference. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's The Cube. It's a flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined by my co-host Dave Vellante. Our next guest, Cube alum, Paul Lilford, channel director, technology partners at Tableau Software. Um, you guys, we've done the Cube at your event. You got great customers. Also, you guys are the poster child for what big data becomes, which is essentially visualization. And, and you know, since big data has been such a huge thing, you're seeing visualization in all the presentations. Visualization yeah. is the new way to communicate. And uh, you got to get the data in somewhere. You got to get it in the cloud. You got to put it right. in some bare metal. So talk about your role here at, uh, at reInvent, obviously developer focused conference, huge business movement to the cloud. Honestly, not a lot of conversations about big data analytics at the show per se. Uh, it's low cost, it's infrastructure, it's cloud. Yeah. There's some conversations about big data, but not, it's not really kind of knocking it out of the park. Yeah, so, um, you know, definitely excited to be here, um, as always, John, and, uh, you know, uh, we consider Amazon a very strategic partner of ours, and uh, the cloud's role is undeniable in big data, right? It's the agility, it's the cost, it's all of that movement, and it's so, you know, for us, um, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here, and uh, we love engaging with our partners and customers, but, um, you know, when I look at cloud in general and big data, um, I, I think it has a growing role and an ever-growing role to, to, to keep it um, agile quick. And if, you know, if you're going to fail, fail small and fast. Don't fail big over a long time. And I, I think that's you know, part of the cloud's role here. Dave and I always talk about uh, how great your company is. Obviously, you went public, great success, great track, great product, just an amazing uh, success story. But at the customer levels, we just had Teresa on who runs worldwide public sector for Amazon. And, you know, Dave and I always talk about the, the mentality of the enterprise bosses is like, what have you done for me lately? So everything's about speed. So big data and visualization talk to the speed game. When you can see stuff, okay, that's where the money went to. Yeah. So whether it's government or enterprises, they need to get the apps built fast. They got to get the visualization. Talk about the, the, tr the trend that you're seeing around that. What are you seeing in the cloud? Why is the cloud so hot with Amazon? And why is this whole enterprise conversation being picked up. Is it the apps that are driving it? Is it the businesses that, that want faster performance in terms yeah. of business value, all of the above? What, what are you seeing? Yeah, so I think there's a couple of things there. You know, one, I think the cost of infrastructure is a challenge, right? So Amazon's cost point is, is a beautiful cost point for enterprise customers. Um, and, and two, um, if you're testing out and you don't know the analytic that you're going to perform and all of that, um, you really want a, a, a test ground for that, and I think the cloud is, is one of the best options. I mean, spinning up infrastructure internally to do that um, is a very 90s way to do it, and uh, you know, we've moved beyond that, and uh, you know, I, I think that's part of it. And then I, you know, I think our customers are getting more and more comfortable with the idea that the cloud can be secure, the cloud can be a place where you do real work and real business, and so you know, I think that part of it's also um, uh, fairly significant. We talk about DevOps all the time, and one of the things that we're, we're excited by, you know, we're kind of drinking our own Kool-Aid here, but you know, the DevOps mindset is program fast, iterate, 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 so the speed is important. So like, I want to get your thoughts on, on, on enterprise readiness for DevOps kind of mindset uh, mm -hmm. for cloud. Because you're getting a lot of experimentation, a lot of you know, new yeah. things that are running. What's your, what's your assessment of, of the delivery from uh, buying cloud and deploying cloud to how it's serviced, all across the board. What's your take on the general view from the enterprise? What's, what's going on in the customer's mindset right now? Yeah, you know, I, I, I think part of it is, you know, if you look at Hadoop, Hadoop was kind of the internal way of doing these things and still is for, for many customers. And, um, but, but you still had to invest heavily in the infrastructure and the setup and the resource that could do it. And the beauty of cloud is, um, it, it, from at least from a Tableau perspective even, is the business user doesn't have to worry about the complexity of that infrastructure at all. Um, the biggest challenge is how you govern putting things in, right? But once they're in, you can just go and work and do the analytics. So, uh, you know, I, I, I think that side of it is a, is, is a big part of it. Um, and, and again, that agility piece of it, the, the speed of, of either succeeding or failing quickly before you invest you know, millions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars in, 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 in a work effort so uh, is a big part. So it's going to flip the expression around, not fail fast, but succeed fast. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we never want to plan to fail, <laughs> but, but if you are going to do it, don't do it, don't do it big time, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Paul, a lot of your success uh, and the, the foothold that you got in the market sort of predated cloud, yeah. um, sort of as we, as we see it evolving today. Um, and you guys obviously have desktop version, you got server version, but in, in 
the online piece is relatively new for you guys. Yeah. So I wonder if you could talk about cloud as a disrupt disruptor, as an, as an opportunity, and specifically what you're doing with Amazon. Yeah, so uh, you know, I, I think you know, we released online a little bit uh, earlier this year, and it's our hosted cloud version, and um, we didn't do it to replace on-prem, and we don't believe cloud truly places, replaces on-prem, it's a complement to it, and it's part of the big data continuum, right? It's the ability to cycle through, and then um, when you find things that work, either put them in play on-prem or in the cloud, depending on your, 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 your choice. But you know, for Tableau, it was a, it, it just an undeniable piece that we had to get into and, and, and had to do something around because our customers, most importantly, demanded it of us. And uh, you know, there's still going to be people that lag in, in the adoption, um, and we'll still have a, a very strong on-prem delivery. Um, but you know, when I look at Amazon in this, I mean, they're the, uh, you know, they're the gorilla in the space. Uh, when it comes to you know um, buying things online and 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 marketplaces and all of that, so as I look forward, I think you know we're gonna we'll look to get tighter integrated, do um, um, more packaged type solutions with our partners, and um, you know take full advantage of the, the fact that it's an e-world and and people are are more comfortable working in in the cloud. So you look at Amazon as just a bunch of infrastructure that you can access, integrate with and a potential delivery platform down the road, is that right? Is that how you would look yeah, at it? Yeah, it's a delivery platform today, without question. We have existing customers, and even when we were betaing our online version, we had a huge interest in this space. So, I mean, customers are using it today, and we, we expect that that's going to continue to grow. So what's the actual offering between th that you deliver with Amazon? Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, yeah, so, so we, we really support um, AWS. Um, um, we support um, Redshift. Um, so we have connectors to it. And uh, uh, we, we can work with the uh, RDS implementations as well. So we work with kind of all of their technical aspects. We're not packaged today yet in the marketplace. Um, and that's something that we'll actually think about in the future. But um, as it stands, we have a very tight um, um, both partnership from a development perspective and then from a go-to-market field perspective as well. So it's a bring your own license model today, is that right? Yes, or? it's a co-selling relationship today and, and, and uh, bring your own license. Okay, so, so and eventually that'll evolve because Amazon's probably going to want you to, to, <laughs> to, to list in the marketplace. <laughs> well, how do you feel about that as, a, as an ISV? I mean, Amazon's language on its website is kind of funky in that regard, yeah. right? It says, well, we realize that many ISVs, or I don't even say it that way, that many don't want to deliver uh, uh, you know, uh, in this model. Uh, so for a while, we'll sort of give you a 12-month grace period where you can bring your own license, but eventually, you got to get up on, on the marketplace. Yeah. So what's, what's your feeling as an ISV? Are you cool with that? Are you like, okay, we'll do it, it'll increase our market, we'll give them a 20% VIG, or yeah, so are you sort of fighting that? Well, you, you know, I mean, some of the some of the language and things we absolutely have to work through, right? Um, but um, devil is in those <laughs> details, right? It really is. Yeah. And, but, well, you but, can tell just by reading the website. <laughs> okay, there's some interesting conversations yeah. going on in the back room with yeah, that, ISVs, right? So yeah, that, and uh, but you know, I, but when I think when we look at it, it's it's another mechanism to support our customers and um, um, also create touches and usage of of our technology, our partners' technology. Um, so, you know, I, I think we'll, we'll definitely um, look at the best way to make that go in the future. Um, but as it stands now, we want to make sure that our product integration is tight, that we support the features and functions of both sides, and, and we'll continue to do that. I mean, it's, uh, you can make a pretty strong argument that expands your, your market yeah. place, obviously doing that. It's just a matter of the terms that you, you, can, you can negotiate. <laughs> right? Yeah. I just I can't imagine Oracle saying, oh, great, that sounds good. Let's, you know, let's just go right up on the market. Yeah, I mean, I, I think <laughs> it's becoming a more prevalent channel without doubt, without yeah. doubt Dave. And, uh, yeah, of and you know, as, as, as in, in, in that way, I think we have to look at it. So with you guys, it's all about the viz. You know, you talk yeah. about the viz. Uh, I love your, your marketing and your messaging, especially we had Christian on the, on the Cube, and great. he talks about the old legacy BI players, and he yeah. slows down his cadence. And then at the other end of the spectrum, you got Excel. Now, having said all that, you got close to a $4 billion market cap. You guys are growing like crazy. I loved, the, I loved last month when all the shorts were out, saying, oh, don't sell the stocks, sell the stocks. Like, You're going to get burned. And sure enough, you had the short squeeze, the, the stock took <laughs> off again. So that was, that was fun to watch. Everybody was running for the hills. But I guess the point I'm getting to is, a lot of people are, are watching you, seeing your success, and, and beginning to, to, to model yeah. after you guys. Excel's trying to make improvements. We heard from Microsoft down at Hadoop World. Uh, you see the BI vendors. You saw IBM make announcements last week. So they're all coming after you. So that's, yeah. that's good. 
because you know it's a good compliment but you got to stay ahead of the pack so what gives you confidence that you can stay ahead of the pack and how are you specifically with your partnerships trying to leverage those to stay ahead of the pack yeah i mean i think first and foremost dave i mean we, from day one we've had the same mission and 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 it's to help people see and understand data and keep it simple right and and we we are violently committed to doing that and i think our separator is the fact that we didn't architect our solution after the fact to be a delivery tool the way it is. We architected it to empower the every worker to do their work. And um, you know, I think everyone we, you know, I think it is a compliment to have people coming after us. Um, you know, I think we've defined the space in many ways. And um, you know, we, we relish competition because um, it makes us better and stronger and, and you know, we'll continue to strive going forward to, to keep our lead and, and support our customers and, and have the best in class product. And uh, we believe it's the best in class. Um, we believe that our competitors have strong products that are getting stronger. Um, we also know that our product is getting stronger. We have our 8.1 release coming out very shortly. And um, you know, we always look to evolve and, and change the way we've done it. So uh, you know, um, the competition's good for the market. Um, it's good for our customers. And uh, you know, we believe that our, our, our vision, mission, and um, focus on it uh, is, is really our separator and our people are, are, are the best around and, and we think that'll help us continue to do this. Well, it's like we were talking off camera. I think that the reaction of your customers when you guys made announcements at the show was, was almost unprecedented. And I said, I, I've got to give credit to Splunk and ServiceNow and Tableau, the three shows that we did this year with the most passionate customers. I've never seen anything like it. When yeah. a company gets up and starts quote unquote spewing its product wares, your customers didn't see it that way. They saw it as wonderful. You're going to make my life better. They're standing yeah. up and clapping. I mean, yeah. it, was just, it was an awesome experience. Yeah. So congratulations on that. It's, yeah. I think you're walking that, that walk really Yeah, hard. well, I love that, Dave. And I, you know, I was a former customer of Tableau's and, and kind of uh, I drank the Kool-Aid and, and uh, believe in the passion and the vision and, and the mission. And um, you know, um, I, I think that's one of our separators as well. We, we have a, a, a very um, passionate user base. Mm -hmm. And um, you know we have a great product that helps drive that, and uh, you know we look to continue it. Paul, we appreciate you coming on the cube. We really like your business. Obviously, uh, you guys are still growing, um, and we've been along for the ride. It's been fun to to work with you guys, watch you guys grow, continue to be successful. I just tweeted Tableau's the last mile for uh, succeeding. People see the visualization. Um, that is certainly amazing, and. Yeah, who doesn't like eye candy when it comes to uh, seeing what the data looks like? And uh, yeah. we appreciate all your support with theCUBE as well for your events. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the scene from the noise. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.